Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we are revisiting the 6 hour P320X Compact. Released in 2019, I got it in 2019. I remember back then it was selling for well over $700. Now you can pick them up for right around $600. It is smaller than the X Compact, 3.6 inch barrel, X-ray 3 front night sight dot, Sig light night sights. 15 round mags and it has that X trigger. It's a flat face trigger breaking right around five pounds Let's go ahead and take a few shots and then we'll talk more about this handgun Yeah, it's a nice handgun It was a big hit in 2019 15 round mags what I like about the grip is it does have an extended beaver tail there and that indentation and an undercut in the trigger guard makes it really nice. Ambidextrous slide release. It's a modular gun, easy to switch out the frame if, if chosen. It also is optic ready. This is cut to fit a SIG Romeo 1, Romeo 2, and a loophole Delta Point Pro. It is a bit wide. 1.3 inches wide. This is what kept me from carrying this gun. It's just a little thick in my opinion. I'm sure it is because they made it optic ready to fit those red dots. It has a nice ergonomic feel, sandpaperish grip, front serrations. Wow, the bugs are getting me. And a loaded chamber indicator uh, right up top there, a little bar that sticks up. But it's performed great. It, it has from the beginning. I wanted to revisit this because it's been a little while since I've shot this and it's always good to look in the safe and see what needs a little bit of attention. Let me go ahead and load it up and we'll fire it some more. You may have seen this gun called the P320X Compact Spectre. That has a flat trigger that is skeletonized. That one's going for right around a grand. This is sticking around 600, maybe a little bit more. 32 ounces loaded with 16 rounds. Let me go ahead and fire a few one-handed and see if I can hit that target. All right. The P320 line has expanded so much from its original version. We know that SIG had those drop safe issues and they cleaned that up uh, quite a bit, offered a voluntary recall. But with the X Compact, the X Carry, all the other X SIGs that are out there, they, they don't have that issue, at least from what I've heard. It's sort of like the P226 line. They started out with a SIG P226 and they created so many variations of the P226. They've done the same with the P320 series. It is a large series of P320s and they're modular, which is nice. People like the flexibility of changing out the frames and the X Compact is no different. Let's try a lip wrist test because I'll be curious to know if this pistol passes. I like that x-ray three front dot. Jumps out like a lime green there. It jumps out at you and you get a real nice sight picture. Not dark enough right now for the Sig Light night sights, but I have had this in low light conditions and those pop out at you too. So a very nice sight picture. I think Sig has always done a nice job with the Sig Light night sights. When they added that X-Ray 3 night sight system, I think they made it even better. Let's see if the Sig P320X Compact will charge with the slide locked back and slamming the mag home. And it does, and I checked that loaded chamber indicator, and can see that around has been chambered. Let's go ahead with a lip wrist test.
Yeah, P320, X Compact, did the job. And it passed the Lipris test. Well, the P320 X Compact has performed exactly as I remember it. It's certainly a nice gun. I mentioned when it first came out, it was one of the hottest guns in the handgun world, and it was. Like, people were on fire for this handgun, way overpaying into the 700s. I think 600 is fair, considering it's optic ready. Comes with two 15 round magazines, giving it a full size feel with a 3.6 inch barrel equipped with night sights, a rail, flat trigger. You know, it, it's feature loaded for what it is. You know, a P320 modular model with, you know, like you go on, uh, extended beaver tail, loaded chamber indicator and so forth. But it has always performed well for me since the very beginning. Happy to have it. Definitely happy to get it back out. It's been a while. I needed to do this. I wanted to revisit the P320 X Compact. That's what I did, and I certainly hope you enjoyed it. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.